<laughs> All right, welcome to the Cosmic Fury SG podcast. Uh, I'm one, and the other line is the boss, Mr. Fias. What's up, ping pongs? All right, ping pong. Okay, this will be another segment of the roast. The roast, the roast, the roast, the roast. All right. So, in this segment, if you're all not too familiar what the roast is, uh, if you're listening to this uh, podcast, there will be another upload before this uh, where we did a roast on the Venom movie, uh, mm. 2018 release. Mm. And this one, we are going to roast on X-Men The Dark Phoenix. So, if you're not too familiar of the format for the roast, basically, we take movies that we dislike basically movies that are shit nah. worse <laughs> than shit yes I was just trying to be polite uh, but as you can see not everybody is uh, on the same sentiment <laughs> hashtag controversial life <laughs> so so yeah lah. Dark Phoenix will be roasted on this uh, segment of the Cosmic Fury SG podcast alright and you know that and, and the thing is we are going to roast the Dark Phoenix without even watching it <laughs> <laughs> Mind blown, Mind blown, bro. Uh, yeah, the Dark Phoenix is so roasted, right? It's rather not be a phoenix, but be a barbecue chicken. <laughs> oh, but Sophie Turner is... Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Sophie Turner is a very nice lady. Okay, nice. we love her. Nice. We love her. <laughs> we love her in Game of Thrones. We love her. Right. Not in Game of Thrones. We just love her. In Game of Thrones, uh, seriously, she has one of the... Um, I like her character development. Uh. So yeah, from, she, from the annoying little... Kid yeah, to, from the annoying to bitches, not annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and de- develop into a very the powerful... The queen of the north. Yeah, a very powerful character in Game of Thrones. Yep. And even with her star power, she could not save the shit out of this fucking movie. And the thing is, uh, I repeat this, uh, we never even watch the movie and we are mm. That's how bad it is, honestly. Yeah, right out, right out of the gate, I said to Fias, I refuse to watch this movie. Uh. Maybe later down the line, I might. But no, right I now, I I just right, now <laughs> right now, yeah, we did not pay to see the movie uh, because we know we're going to waste our money. Mm, exactly. Yeah? Yeah, there are some movies right out there that you know in your gut feeling is gonna fuck up or it's gonna suck. And, and you know the other movie, you know, the the one that uh that I didn't watch at all. Even mm. like until now I still didn't watch it. Mm. Shit. X-Men Apocalypse, bro. Hey, yeah, me too. Until now I still haven't watched. I never watch. <laughs> the moment I, I saw Apocalypse and how he was, right, I was like, fuck, that's Ivan Woods. I think that the only sympathizer uh, among our friends uh, who gave it a try was Rashid. Uh. The rest of us, we, we did not. <laughs> uh, I just didn't give two fucks about the movie. So. Yeah, and okay. Does it justify that we have still, like, we haven't watched the movie, but we, we kind of like judging the movie? You see, the thing is, right? You see, the thing is here. The movie first was shot, everything was done, you know. They had a so-called secret screening for a certain uh, crowd of people to go watch it. And every single one of them came out, even movie critics, non-movie critics, somebody's uncle, somebody's auntie, somebody's mom, dad, dog, I don't know. Everybody came out, even the dog, surprisingly, and tweeted that the movie just sucked ass so bad. Mm. That's how bad it is, no? And they had to use that because apparently the director had to use this secret screening to go and find out what is exactly wrong with the movie. Reshoot the movie and re-release the movie. And he reshot the movie. He re-released the movie. Still and it's still shit. <laughs> That's true to show how shit Fox is as well. Is okay. Okay. Wait. So basically, she did a secret screening just to find out what is wrong like with just, the movie. Just to get like uh, feedback, you know, opinion of, you know. That means, see, right. Not talking about this making me yawn. Sir. See, Shit. see, first and foremost, right, if anybody were to do that, anybody were to do that, 
That means you first and foremost you have no confidence in your movie. Yeah, exactly. And and for you and second, if you actually did your research, okay, you not say read everything that is out there for X Men, ah, but at least read the story arc for Dark Phoenix itself, mm. and understand that Dark Phoenix as a story in the comics is such a grandiose scale, you cannot do it. In one movie setting or one movie sitting, mm. it's like you try to comprise the entire co- uh, collection of Harry Potter and jam pack into one movie. Mm. Nobody learn anything from Avatar the Airbender. Nobody, <sighs> nobody learn learn from that. Ah, uh. uh, they try to put the entire what first three seasons ah uh, of mm. the of the series or something mm. like that, or, or or was it the entire season? Into mm-hmm. one movie, something like that. I, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. And it was, I felt sad for Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, it, because uh, the thing is, the the what the animation series was good. Uh, it was really, I really yes. enjoyed watching it. Hmm. But yep. Yeah. It, so it so fuck it up as usual. Yeah, the analogy I put into it is because it's the same. It's because. Dark Phoenix is a huge, huge event. Yep. And they what they think they can settle it within one movie, like okay lah. Okay, I want to give chance lah because you said that the movie the no, director. No, no, don't give chance. Fuck them. <laughs> like, like the movie, this movie is the director's first movie, his debut movie. Apparently, so that's what from what I read lah. But uh. yeah. First Who movie. the hell gave him the uh, the bright idea? Right? Hey, give this movie a chance, ah! Uh. Like fucking hell, if he were to try something on Netflix, ah, uh, mm. at least he could have learned something. Why? <laughs> why torture himself and get burned by the Phoenix movie? <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, yeah, you know, know. Probably, probably his. I don't know, man. I really don't know, man. This one. Yeah. Uh. So, so right now for us, right, we are rooting the Dark Phoenix X Men Dark Phoenix and. Haven't watching the movie at all, like because we know the yep. Fox Fox have this tendency to not follow the source material. Socks and... is socks. You see, <laughs> I don't even call them Fox. I call them socks. Got their <laughs> shit. Ah. <laughs> and and I don't know like, <laughs> if you already listened to the roast we did on Venom. That's another good example of Sony trying to trying to put a, a material which they think. It's mm. nice. They are so stupid. They are so okay. fucking stupid. Oh, uh, okay. Now, just uh, did a Google on the director of the movie. Uh, by the way, his name is Simon Kinberg. Okay. Uh-huh. So, apparently, Simon Kinberg appeared in a few... How should I say? Uh, a few movies. Lah, you know? Oh, really? He appeared in a few movies? No, as in like, uh, he he did. Calafair, what? Oh, okay. Okay, so um, the he was the writer for Triple X State of Union, which was shit. <laughs> Mister is Mister Smith. To me, it was shit. <laughs> X Men: The Last Stand, shit. Jumper, shit. Sherlock Holmes, the guy Richie one. X Men: First Class, it was okay. This means war, shit. Abraham X-Men, Lincoln, f- X-Men First Class, one of the writers or the main writer? X-Men First Class, producer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, he was the executive producer. Elysium, he was the producer. Uh, Fantastic Four, writer and producer. The the so called latest Fantastic Four. Yes. Sir. What else does he have? Cinderella. He was the producer. <sighs> Chappy. He was the producer. Chappy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Surprising. The Martian. He was the producer. The Ridley Scott one. What? That one, yeah. He was just a producer. That's it. Okay. Lah, because okay. Lah. I fucking love the Martian. Lah. Yeah, the Martian was good. I mean, so, even he was the producer for Tim Miller's Deadpool as well, which was good. I mean, but movies that he wrote, okay, let's not talk about. So just just talk about movies that he wrote. Uh. 
<coughs> Triple X State of Union, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, X-Men Last Stand, Jumper, Sherlock Holmes, uh, hey, wait, This wait, Means hey, War. Hang on, hang on. Jumper, yeah. right? Yeah. I fucking hate Jumper. And he produced and wrote that movie, bro? That movie... It is so... Trash. <coughs> the what amount of... Another, it's what fucking... another thing? <coughs> yeah, what? X-Men Apocalypse. Writer right and there. producer. Oh my god. Uh, then uh, Logan, he was producer. Uh, we just talked about writer. So okay, yeah. Basically, basically, what he wrote is shit, lah. Basically, whatever he touches on producer so far, okay. Anything that he touches on writing duties is fucking it's just your shit, man. Yeah. Oh my god. And the uh, the thing is, Dark Phoenix, writer. Producer, director. Uh, so three times the shit. Uh, and his next movie, apparently, it's a spy movie called 355. Why? Why is it called 355? Because the <laughs> idea of the movie is to have a female led spy film in the same spirit of Mission Impossible and James Bond. That's no, why. No, no, that's uh, what they are saying, man. And I'm not even kidding you. No, seriously. Okay, it's not being against women or anything, right? Mm, you no, don't. No. You you don't have to say it like that, as though like you're doing. Okay, uh, this we, we, this is what I will read, uh, word by word. Okay. Mm. Uh, production. Jessica Chastain proposed the idea for a female-led spy film in the same spirit as Mission Impossible and James Bond series. To her, Dark Phoenix director, Simon Kinberg. <laughs> so the concept was built upon in May 2018 and Kinberg announced the uh, movie. Uh, he would direct the film with Jessica Chastain producing it. Okay, look. I'm not against women or anything. Uh. No, okay, I'm not. But, I but, love but, women. By, by saying that, right? You're not doing any favors, you no. Know? You you're not doing any favors for the ladies, uh, by saying yeah. like that, you no. Know? If you wanna and do, if you wanna do that kind of movie, uh, just do that fucking kind of movie. You know, a good example, Wonder Woman. Yeah, exactly. Look don't have it. to. Uh, don't don't have to say like, oh, this is uh um this and that for the women. Just fucking do it, man. And it's out there, and it's just empowering women by the movie itself. You see, remember that time we had a topic about how they are forcefully forcing the idea of. Woman empowerment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you don't have to, La like, You don't have women, to. You uh, can you, just do the movie and people watching it will understand you. Yeah, and they will, natu- stupid, uh. yeah, they will naturally gravitate. Like, if they have something in common with the movie, they will definitely naturally gravitate to the movie and mm. that's fine. You don't have to advertise yourself like, like don't need, La like, What is? Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> let's go back to Simon Kimberg and Stupid Dark Phoenix. Yes, I mean, with the list that you you told me, I hate Jumper. Uh, Triple X, uh, what state of union? Uh, that's that's mm, fucking tacky. Tacky yeah. shit, uh, to me. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, Mrs. and what? what? Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I didn't like the movie, but I liked it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I felt a bit cringy on that movie. Uh, like, yeah. Tzz. Then so... uh, he wrote uh, the first Sherlock Holmes with the Robert Downey Jr. one. That one was not bad. Hmm. Then uh, This Means War. The Tom Hardy and uh, what's the guy? Chris Pine. The one that both of them are spies and they are fighting over a girl. Mm, I cannot remember if I would have watched it before. Maybe yeah. I have. I don't know. Okay, like, basically, he has more miss than hits. Uh. <laughs> the only the only hits he has so far uh, it's uh, Days of Future Past. The only hits he requires right now is in his balls and his, in his face. <laughs> <laughs> for for putting out material <laughs> such as this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I'm not inciting violence or anything. It's just that no, I... because the thing is, you see, uh, people like us, right, we really, I mean, we love the idea of, uh, you know, superhero movies and all that kind of thing, but 
the thing is, I don't know, my guilty pleasure is mutant movies. Like, you know, like X-Men, you know, like, mm. like uh, when we were watching the cartoon or the kind of thing. And, you know, like uh, Wolverine. And, you know, yeah. even though, like, last time, like, Brian Singer used to do, like, all the different type of X-Men movie, and no matter how shit it was, right, we still, we still give it a chance because we love seeing, like, you know, the characters on screen and, and you know, whatnot. But at but, that point of time, because it didn't have a lot of uh, superhero movies, like, yeah, you know, like yeah, now, true. which is, like, constantly mm-hmm. and all that kind of thing. So that feeling is gone. That feeling is totally gone now. And now what we expect is good movie, good, uh, try to stick to the source material as close as you can. Uh, you know, good writing, good plot, good characters and everything. But if you come out with a movie like Dark Phoenix, after a shit movie like the one that he wrote, which is X-Men Apocalypse, mm. you are expecting people to appreciate the movie. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! And then, like, uh, how 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 to say this? Uh, like, you don't say, it, bro. Just call. <laughs> like, okay, wait, right now, right now, like, he is. I don't know uh, what kind of connections he 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 has uh, over there because, like, most of the X Men, uh, franchise or like really. He is involved in it, which makes me a bit scared. Yeah. From what I see, he is going to be in Gambit as the producer. He's going to be in the New Mutants as the producer. Uh, the producer as well, yeah. I am, I am genuinely worried. Lah. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm. And from what I saw from X-Men The Last Stand, mm-hmm. it's like a movie that gave me cancer right there. <laughs> It's fuck that movie is fucking rough, man. <laughs> but the and, thing is, you know what? Not even it's so not as think? bad as it's not as bad as the Dark Phoenix, huh? Hmm. You know, X Men: The Last Stand, even though it's shit, huh? But it's not utter bullshit, huh? Like the Dark Phoenix is, huh? You know what I mean? You mm. look at you. I mean, just do this, lah. Like, just go online. Just Google for reviewer. Don't even have to type bad reviews. Just reviews, huh? And you look at all the shit review they get for that movie. And the ton of shit that people talk about that movie, The Dark Phoenix. Rotten Tomato meter, how many percent? 23%. 23%. And you know what? The worst thing about all this is I really feel bad for all the actors in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah have I agree with you. Brilliant actors, no? Sophie Turner, mm. Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy, you know? They I'm deserve like, better, lah. Fucking, they deserve better. I'm like, wow, no, you're really not doing justice to, mm. to the movie or to anything related to the X-Men universe. That's why Fox, fuck you, and Disney got back the rights for, for, for X-Men characters and all. So you all can take your fucking movies and go fucking shove it. You know, in a, in a situation where, like, it's a wishful thinking. Uh, if, if right now, since the, the rights is back at Marvel and they already announced they're going to do some uh, X-Men stuff because they already mentioned the word mutants and all that, right? Yes. And in a... I, I don't know. In a so-called situation of redemption or anything, uh, like if they were to get back the original cast from this uh, Fox version of X-Men, right? Then they rework or maybe do... Uh, since now, Doctor Strange already opened up the possibility of the multiverse and this and that. Yeah. If they were to re-involve the, the original cast and then redo the rework lah, basically the X-Men universe lah, I think there will be a redemption story lah, more or less. I really hope they do. I really hope they, they really clean out the old bullshit that Fox have been releasing for mm. X-Men lah, and make everyone forget about that that scarred history before. Lah, and yeah, because, yeah, because the, the actors deserve... Better lah because yeah lah, James McAvoy, like you say, fast Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, like even Nicholas oh, yeah. Holt. Nicholas Holt, uh, the guy yeah, who played exactly. Beast. Yeah. He was fucking amazing, sir, in, in Mad Max. Yeah, exactly. Witness! Yeah. <laughs> so yeah lah, that's why not only that the Dark Phoenix butchered the source material, they kinda like make um lesser 
use of the wonderful cast of actors mm-hmm. and and i don't know would you say shallow is a word to use no uh, just go fucking research or don't <laughs> just put something out blindly for fuck's sake yeah sir yeah. go and research go and read you got millions of money here yeah. you go and hire you can even hire someone who's 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 very into like the the X-Men universe and, you know, can tell you every single shit about it and all that kind of thing. Mm. Find out for them what can be written, what should be written, how this movie should be, how it should look. You know, just research. Ah. Don't be a fucking lazy-ass motherfucker and just sit down there on your ass. It's like, oh, let's do a movie about the Dark Phoenix. Oh, mm. really? And then after that, you fuck it up. You fuck it up not only by uh, showing it in a secret screening, after that, you reshoot. After reshoot, it got even worse. So fuck you for even <laughs> trying to reshoot. You know, you know what could have been epic, you know? Like what? they they shot the film and then they did a reshoot, right? But they mm-hmm. cancelled the movie, right? Then they say, oh, oh, because this is the last movie before the acquisition by uh, Disney. Mm-hmm. Like they they cancel the movie. They say, okay, we're gonna put, we're gonna can this movie and then we're gonna return back once it gets uh, so called a re another so called okay lah, maybe third reshoot ah. Mm. Under the direction of uh, Marvel and Disney, I would have loved that, sir. If they yeah, just say, that, okay, that, would, that would be a, that would uh, be amazing. Man. I would be disappointed. Yes. Oh, I have to wait for uh, a long one, right? Uh, not, not, not disappointed because I want to see Dark Phoenix. No, it's mm. like okay, fuck ah. Uh, at least I don't have to see this version. And mm. then I see another revised version, and then it's well done. I would rather go through that, sir. That would be fucking epic. And then at least right, say mm. Fox on face. But Fox decided they want to make more money. What kind of money you make out of this? Now you there got... were no money. You were talking. <laughs> so, so like, oh my goodness. <sighs> so yeah, I mean, we we are roasting on a movie we haven't watched, but I think this movie. We don't even a... want to talk anything about the movie. Yeah, we sir. don't even bother want to go and read the plot and all the kind of thing. Honestly mm-hmm. speaking, now you ask, I don't know, and like for you probably the same as well. Like if you ask, like, oh, what is the plot of the movie? You know what's the plot of the movie for me? I don't give a fuck. That's what yes. the plot of the movie is. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, goodness. Yeah, folks. I can bet with you, right? The plot uh, is nowhere near to the original uh, uh, source material where there's like space involved, this and that. It's something like uh, uh, like Chucky. Uh, what's Chucky going through now? Uh? Like the original one involves possession, right? Yep. The new one, there's no possession, right? But at least the thing is, like, you know, Chucky, like, the child play, the new one, right? Mm. People, I mean, I've read reviews, I've seen, you know, people write about the movie and all, right? Even though it doesn't follow the original source material, right? It, the, the person who did the show, right, doesn't do a shit job, no. Mm. It's a mediocre job. Okay, maybe it's a mediocre job. But it's not a shit job. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Sheesh. Uh... How sir, like, at, you know, at this day and age, uh, at least uh, people would have learned how to handle, like, the superhero genre. It seems mm. that, <laughs> it seems that people like him are still lingering around, uh, like, you know, trying to take their shots at the superhero movie. Mm. Sir, uh, fucking the boys does better jobs uh, than this, sir. Uh, and yeah, it's a TV course, show, uh, sir. This, is, this cannot even be compared to the boys, sir. Uh. Sir, uh, not even close, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you want to know something crazy? What? Okay, I just read the last paragraph of so-called their plot uh, to the ending of this movie. Uh, and you mm. tell me how shit it is. In the aftermath of the incident, Xavier School is renamed Jean Grey School for Gifted Youngsters. Mm, okay. And Hank's be- Hank become their new dean with Xavier having retired after decades of fighting for mutants. While settling himself in Paris, Xavier reunited with Eric and plays a game of chess as they see a flaming phoenix appear in the sky. <laughs> okay, so okay. Ha- okay, half of it, right? Half of it, uh, in the comics, uh, it is happening. Uh. Uh, mm. There is a school under Jean Grey and like, like, like Cyclops and all that. Mm. But the playing chess part, that one, too cliche for me. Uh. Flaming phoenix in the sky, bro. Let <laughs> me you what? Your uncle's tattoo. Uh. Uh... Fuck this, man. <sighs> man. Anyways, we don't even bother... What's that? Uh, what's that? Want to... 
even go deep into this movie or anything. Uh. What we're going to say is, for those people who want to watch this movie, if you feel like you want to watch it, watch it. But don't expect a lot. If for those people who don't even want to watch it, don't watch it because it's shit show. <clears throat> like, I would say, don't pay for it. Lah. <laughs> watch it online or something. Like, uh, don't, don't waste time watching online, bro. Nah, if, if, you want, if you want to give chance, right? you can uh, but if the moment when you start to feel drag and then you start to skip through the movie then yes you know in your heart and accept it that the movie is shit <laughs> so <laughs> man. Uh, man i never see a score so low for a long time sir. this movie oh my goodness oh no i i just saw that the music is done by done by who hans zimmer oh my god <laughs> Hans Zimmer really? is a brilliant music composer. Yeah. You know he's coming to Singapore? Oh, really? I didn't know that. For the F1 to put on the concert. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah. And Hans Zimmer has done an amazing job with Batman. Sela, he, he is like the maestro. Sel. Every, like, maestro? Yeah, like... Uh, I don't know whether... I think Martian or uh, Interstellar. Ah, uh, he did Interstellar. I think don't know much. I think I think he got did before. But whatever he touches, right? The the sound are full. Fucking Interstellar, epic. Martian. He he done games like if I'm not wrong, was it Call of Duty? Yeah, Call of Duty. Yeah, not, not sure. Uh, he has done the Batman series, the Christopher yep. Nolan one. In yep, yep. Hmm. Wow, he has done so much good here, yeah, but. Why involved in this one? Are you? <laughs> Probably they want to use him as a saving grace, but not even Hans Zimmer can save this movie, yo. The only saving grace uh, is getting the director. F- get get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> the directors need to. Uh, I don't know, man. Simon Kinberg, go fuck yourself, man. Oh my god, game beat, uh. Man, this movie's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, just know it, uh. You just know it. My. Okay. My gut feeling tells me, yeah, like, yeah, because Gambit has been delayed or like so called confirmed, not confirmed, confirmed, not confirmed. I think it's about like three to four times, you know. Mm-hmm. And with him involving in the Dark Phoenix and seeing him on Gambit, you hmm. know, it's going to be a shit show. Hey, but who did it? Did it decided to cast for Gambit? Huh? Remember, he uh, was Channing Tatum at one point of time. Yeah, I wasn't feeling Channing Tatum. I don't know. They were like really wanna wanted to push him, no. Mm. But I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, no, not Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum is just <sighs> no, like, not for him, lah. Not for him. Yeah. Hmm. Hans Zimmer, said, ah, what an extensive resume, is yeah. My God, Interstellar. Uh, what's that? Beyond Two Souls game. Uh, Dark Knight Rises, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Despicable Me, Sherlock Holmes, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, it was Call of Duty. Uh, you, wow. you know what? Uh, Simon Kingsburg. Oh, ah, he's gonna be involved in the Twilight Zone, the twenty nineteen version. Is it the one with the M Night Shyamalan? Apparently, I think so. <sighs> Simon Kimberg, uh, I know you're not going to listen to big fuck uh, <laughs> director and all. Uh. But uh, Simon Kimberg, please, please, just stop. Uh. Just stop. You know, you know, we can always hashtag him, right? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I Is cannot. I, I, I seriously, like. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> <sighs> I think we have rented enough on uh, Dark Phoenix without even watching it. <laughs> so, any last words, Mr. Ivan? Uh, I would say that um, be angry. Lah. Because if you're not angry, right, you wouldn't let them know what you really feel about something like this. Yep. Just be angry. Mm. Yep, exactly. What about you, Mr. Fias? <sighs> if I continue talking, right, this, this thing will never end. Lah. So, uh, I shall end it by saying this. In this world, they are full of a lot of 
intelligent and brilliant people from writers, producers, uh, cinematographers, directors, you know, composers. But the thing is, right, if you see, if, I mean, we, we are all not stupid people. Huh? If you see that your password is shit, just stop. <laughs> Don't carry on. Because the more you carry on, the more shit it gets, the more hate you get, you just go nowhere. So my advice to anyone uh, who is listening now, who wants to, who thinks that they are like a top-notch director and all. Okay, you know what? Controversial a bit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One of my uh, dad's side of the family, uh, uh, I don't consider him my cousin because he's a douchebag. Uh. Oh my God. Yeah. So <laughs> apparently he's a, he, Director for Vasantam Central. Uh, for those who don't know what is Vasantam Central, it's basically a local uh, TV channel for uh, Indian, uh, or should I say it, South Indian and North Indian shows and whatnot. Lah. So mm. this guy, uh, apparently, the director for a lot of TV series on the channel, and he is just like Simon Kimberg. <laughs> because the thing is, he feels that... Um, it's uh he's one of the gods gift of a director. He comes up with the craziest plot and all. So um you might listen to this, you might not listen to this, I don't know. Uh, but uh by the way, his name is Yasir. So Yasir, please go fuck yourself because you are a fucking horrible director, just like Simon Kinberg. Okay? No one do edible shows anymore because your shows are just shit. And the only people that are watching your shows are people in Singapore and Malaysia. <laughs> I shall, I shall end my segment by saying <sighs> fuck you, Yasir, and Simon Kimberg. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I wasn't prepared for that, but well, it is what it is. Um, Hashtag controversial life. <laughs> All right, pretty much that's it for the roast uh, on the Dark Phoenix X Men. The roast, the roast, the roast. <laughs> so we are still gonna scour around and find movies that uh, deserve to be roasted. On this uh, segment of the Cosmic at the, at the Fury of head, Is there any movie that... Oh! I'm gonna... Uh, I think we. I've always wanted to do this for a long while. Mm. But I think the next Rose segment... I, even though I've never watched the movie, I've never read the books, but I think we should do it. The Which Fifty one? Shades of Grey... Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy from the book to the movie. Oh my god. Yeah, why not? <laughs> You are the next fucking shit movie that we are going to do. So watch out. Oh, goodness. Uh, all right, pretty much that's it. Uh, before Fia starts to flip his uh, house table. <laughs> uh, all right, pretty much that's it on the Rose uh, segment of the Cosmic Fury SG. The Rose, the Rose, the Rose. <laughs> all right, I'm one, and the other line is uh, the boss, uh, Mr. Fias. Yes, Ping Pong. Uh, all right, we are going to go sign off now. Hope you enjoyed uh, this segment of Rose. Uh, we'll be back soon. To Rose more and Fifty Shades of Grey, your next. <laughs> All right, man. Cheers. Cheers.